Welcome back to Transmission. Trans people are often required to get all sorts of professional advice, but right now we are going to hear trans people giving the advice. What tips would you give to a young person who isn't totally comfortable with the gender they were assigned at birth? Um, I'd sort of, yeah, just, just sort of try little things out, do it bit by bit and just see what you feel comfortable with and, you know, if things really are bringing up some feelings in you that, you know, you, you can't work out or are you know, quite confronting, I'd go talk to someone and talk to uh, someone you feel really comfortable with, firstly, you know, you don't have to go straight to a medical professional, but someone, someone close in your life you can, you can trust. Yeah. Um, probably counselling, but not necessarily professional counselling, but like just to talk things over with whoever they feel comfortable with talking things over with, to consider where they're coming from and that you don't have to do everything all at once. You don't have to decide right now I'm going to be a trans man or I'm going to be a trans woman. You could just be genderqueer or you could just be a, a woman who wears pants or whatever it is, you know, it doesn't have to be super defined and instant and it's not a hurry. I think, I think I'd tell the kid you can be whatever you want to be and I'd probably get down with that parent and say you better let them be whatever they want to be. Do what makes you happy. Don't try to overdo masculinity or femininity. Don't try to overdo it. Just do what makes you happy. Ignore people who say that you can't sit somewhere in the middle and you know, just try to be yourself because that's all you can be in this world. Um, what tips would you give to a young person who isn't totally comfortable with the gender they were assigned at birth? Um, I would tell them just to be themselves. Don't don't try and label yourself, don't try and fit into any particular box. If you don't feel particularly male or female, then you don't have to be. The gender spectrum is completely fluid. You can sit anywhere on there, wherever you like, and just go crazy with it. Just have some fun, find out who you are, um, yeah. Um, what tips would you give to a young person who isn't totally comfortable with their gender? What, what tips I should give them? Tips. Oh, sorry. Tips. <laughs> Tip. <laughs> um, accept yourself for who you are and don't feel bad about who you are, pretty much. So, yeah. I would love to encourage all young people to be free to explore their gender to have the courage to work through the issues, find somewhere where they can get some help if they need it. There's a huge amount on the internet which didn't exist when I was young. Um, I think it is tragic that so many people feel prevented from exploring their gender and being themselves. I could be controversial and say, wait, um, think, talk to lots of people, experiment a bit. I would suggest they live life and protect themselves with good friends and family of their choice while they decide what they think is really happening because it can be extremely difficult to work it out. Strangely, none of us get born and say, oh, I'm a trans kid. Yeah, it's just not out there. You don't even think it. So it can be hard. It can be hard to work it out. Don't rush. I think the most, some of the most important things is, for me, is, you know, it's okay to have these feelings about feeling like your gender might be different or you might be questioning your gender identity, that's, that's okay and that's normal. It's, um, a lot of people think it's not okay, but it really is. It's, and it's not just okay, it's awesome. Probably to, yeah, get some, go and see a professional and talk through some of the issues. If you have no friends or 
um, that you can actually talk to that issue, uh, talk about that issue with, um, so you can unpack what it means. Um, yeah, I think that's mainly it. Just talk about what's going on and then usually you find that you will meet a person who can put you on to someone else who can answer those questions. So it's starting to have the conversation, yeah. Um, I would say that that was once me and I am no longer dysphoric about any part of my body at all. I used to hate my body. Um, I used to hate showering. I used to hate mirrors. Um, now I've gotten to the point where I am so comfortable with my body that I have no dysphoria and I wouldn't change any part about it at all. Maybe I might want to tone up a bit more, gain some more muscle or lose a bit of fat, but you know, who doesn't these days? Um, that's common. So. Um, just hang in there. Um, I was once you and it's better now. Find a safe link in the network. I know there aren't multitudes of services everywhere, particularly, say, beyond um, inner metro Melbourne and inner metro Sydney, for example, but tap into what, just that one link in the chain somewhere. There is a resource um, such as Transcend or whatever, and just getting that one foot in the door can, in the right door, I think, is the way to go from there and then you'll find there are lots of people to tap into once you're there. Uh, well, first of all, I think a tip would be to start loving yourself. Um, I think being trans, we grow up not feeling comfortable looking at ourselves in the mirror and, and creating a cycle of self-hatred. Um, and I think we have to be really gentle on ourselves and no matter what our body is and who we are, we need to love that and see the beauty in that and be patient and gentle. Um, and if a young person is questioning their gender, I'd probably say, take your t time. There's no stress, no pressure. There's no hard and fast decision that anyone has to make and you don't have to stick to it. Um, it's okay to experiment, it's completely normal. And you're not a freak, you know, everyone is beautiful, not a freak. Unless they wanna be a freak, then maybe you're a freak. <laughs> I would probably say to talk, talk uh, to others that have gone on the journey already. Just talk and then figure it out slowly. And at the end of the day, I think you know, transgender people are really cool and awesome people. And I, just, I agree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and always like, I like to always have that message because you know, there's so much negative stuff out there and I think we're just... We're really just beautiful, awesome people, you know, that's, that's the main thing.